Didn't, we ran out of creamer this morning. So I'm drinking my coffee with almond milk. So take that as you will. Today, I thought we would talk about my favorite things of the decade. I'm gonna talk about five different things. I'm gonna talk about a movie, a comic book, a print book, a TV show, and a podcast. And these are just sort of, in no particular order, I'm not like ranking podcasts above uh, movies or anything like that, but this is just my favorite, favorite? I'm Australian now. My favorites from each of these categories, and they're just in some order. My favorite podcast of the decade is a podcast called Do Go On. It is an Australian podcast. It is hosted by Matt Stewart, Dave Warnicke, and Jess Perkins, and it is essentially an educational podcast, but um, with a very comedic spin to it. So one person will do a report on something, and then the other two hosts kind of badger them and, and berate them. And it's good fun. It's probably the podcast that's made me laugh out loud the most since I've listened to it for the last two or three years. It's consistently good and funny. And yeah, it's, it's my favorite podcast of the decade. Go listen to it. TV show. So my favorite TV show of the decade, um, I had to think long and hard about this because I had to think about shows that actually started in the 2010s, but the one I came up with um, is Into the Badlands, which is a show that not a lot of people watch, <laughs> which is evident from the fact that it's been canceled. Into the Badlands is essentially a martial arts, um, science fiction, fantasy show. It's just the best thing. It's got some of the best action I've ever seen on TV. It's characters are, are well written. It's got amazing cinematography and imagery. It's just a gorgeous show. My favorite book of the decade is a book called So You've Been Publicly Shamed by uh, John Ronson. This is one of his, I feel like, lesser known books. Um, John Ronson also wrote The Psychopath Test, and he also wrote The Men Who Stare at Goats. And aside from the fact that I just adore John Ronson and everything he does, I love So You've Been Publicly Shamed because I feel like it's a very well-written, concise book that touches on a topic that not a lot of people have talked about. John Oliver has uh, an episode of his TV show sort of about the, pu the topic of publicly shaming, but this book kind of goes really in deep. Just an incredible read from start to finish. Actually came out midway through the decade, so it's actually not like that current anymore, but it is interesting how much of what he talks about um, has stayed relevant. So if you're in for, if you want to read something fascinating and terrifying, then read so you've been publicly shamed. Speaking of books, my favorite comic book of the decade is one that is still ongoing. It's totally out of left field for me, and that is Black Hammer. This is a Dark Horse comic. It's one that I had sort of just heard about. I had never really known anything about it, and it's just incredible. It is one of the most like heartwarming, heartbreaking, strangest, funniest comics I've ever read. And it sort of is just like right in my wheelhouse. Um, I can't really talk about it without sort of spoiling it. Just go read it. If you're a fan of comic books, if you're a fan of things like um, older kind of pulp comics, if you're a fan of Watchmen, anything like that, go read Black Hammer. Just and just so good, consistently good. hasn't hasn't dipped in quality at all, which is amazing. And that brings us to movies. Now my favorite movie of the decade is hard because so many of my absolute favorite movies came out in this decade. It's sort of the decade where I became aware of films um, and sort of really dedicated my time and energy to them. But without a doubt, the movie, my favorite movie of the decade, has to go to Mad Max Fury Road. There's just no movie like it. Mad Max Fury Road kind of changed my perspective on movies. It kind of changed how I thought about movies. It changed, you know, what I wanted to do with my life. It's an incredible film from start to finish. It's just the best thing. It's the best thing. And if you haven't seen Mad Max Fury Road, go watch it right now. It's on streaming. It's on everything. Mad Max Fury Road. Best of the decade. It was a good decade for a lot of things. I could do a billion of these lists, but I don't want to run this topic into the ground, so. But anyway. Thank you for watching. 
Happy New Year once again. Um, I hope we're all well on our way to completing our resolutions. But until next time, I will say, Arrivederci.